Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will give uh, the second work uh, on this beautiful Scots pine from France. This is a beautiful uh, Scots pine I collected uh, in uh, France uh, about uh, five or six years ago. While we collected the tree, we have uh, to cut uh, a major tap root uh, and uh, the tree had the very good roots uh, and it was able to survive uh, fine. Uh, I styled uh, this tree last winter for my friend uh, Bjorn channel so if you want to see the entire process uh, go on his channel. What I'm gonna do today I will uh, restyle and uh, kind of uh, refurbish uh, the tree uh, after the original uh, heavy bending uh, I did, uh, I had uh, four major branches. Uh, during the growing season, the tree pushed out uh, very, very well. Uh, it's very strong. Uh, all uh, the structural wire start biting uh, into the branches. Uh, so what I will do today will be remove all the structural wire, remove uh, the plastic and the raffia, and then rewire and reset uh, all the pads. What I did uh, during the growing season, as soon as I see that the tree was uh, strong enough and fleshing out well, I remove uh, one uh, big branch uh, I left uh, on the first tiling, uh, hanging down in this side. Uh, I didn't like too much, but I kept uh, for the safety of the tree. And as soon as I see that the tree was fine, because all the bending we did, uh, I remove that so the tree can uh, push uh, all the energy in the part I want. Now, is uh, early autumn, the buds are super strong, I have uh, some ants uh, with three or four buds, uh, so the tree is telling me it's time to give another shape. So let's remove the wire, remove the raffia and then start uh, the process of restyling. This is the branch uh, that I removed uh, in early summer. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, remove the raffia, the raffia and the tape uh, and then uh, just keep uh, this uh, first uh, section to create uh, a little gin and transform uh, this part uh, in a little gin. As you can see the difference between a living branch where the raffia is dry because uh, the wood is absorbing the moisture of the raffia especially after the styling and a branch uh, that uh, is not active anymore and the raffia is all wet. So now that I remove uh, the plastic and uh, the wire from, from these two branches, it's very important to secure them. 
You see, the branch uh, got the position, but is still not strong to hold in place uh, the weight of the pad. So you see, I keep using guy wire, and in this case, I will anchor also this elbow to the main branch itself. So doing that, I can secure the branch from movement that can damage the fiber and the branch can keep growing and set in position. Another technique that I will be using in spring, especially in this upper part, will be self-graft the branch in one spot of itself. So this is a good way to bend spaghetti and then go back in one spot of the original branch and graft. So doing that, you see, these branches start here, go inside of the tree, go back and form this pad. So what they can do in the next few years will be self-graft this branch here so I can remove completely all the band and this branch and this branch here they can just be connected to the main trunk in these two positions. This is something that sometimes we have to do when we have to bend extremely a tree in order to get a shape and focus on the main trunk. Originally this tree only had branches from this spot coming away from the tree. Now I can start working in the back of the tree, removing the wire from this section and the plastic. You see this is uh, secure here, so I will keep that secure for now. Remove the plastic, uh, remove the wire. I don't care about the raffia, because this raffia is gonna just fell apart uh, in a couple of months uh, of uh, rain and sun so i don't bother about removing the raffia sometimes with a knife uh, would be risky to damage uh, the cambium i will just uh, remove uh, the plastic and uh, the wire these secure points are very very important because uh, after the band uh, i can set the branch in this position and then the branch can keep developing the other part will be remove the wire in the portions of the branches that had no protection but they really grew a lot so i'm sure this section will be set in position so i need to remove the, this wire and then again fix this point to hold the branch in position Here you can see the difference between uh, the part uh, I had uh, raffia and tape uh, and the part uh, that I had free. So because uh, this bark is uh, in contact uh, with uh, air, it tends to grow. In fact, uh, you can see the wire biting in uh, very well. I, I don't care because in one year this uh, bite marks uh, will be gone but you can see the part that was uh, protected the wire hasn't biting at all now i will just uh, push back uh, the branch in the original position anchoring uh, in this gin where it was uh, and so i can secure the position for one more year without uh, need uh, of any wire on the branch and this will help uh, the branch uh, to set in position and also not having wire I can uh, fix uh, the wire marks uh, in the next uh, growing season. Now only the upper section is left so you can uh, 
remove uh, the wire and the tape and also start uh, preparing this section to be self-grafted in uh, spring. This is uh, something important. Now is autumn, but I will do it in spring when the energy of the tree will be in positive and uh, when I match uh, the two sections together they can really fix the position and in one season the top uh, will be directly getting energy from that part uh, and I will be able to remove uh, this section and maybe transform this last part in a gym. So now all the wire is off, I secure the different uh, part uh, of uh, the band uh, to really have the branches uh, more or less in the position I want uh, and so in the next growing season be in contact with air, they can thick up uh, and secure the position. Uh, what I will be doing uh, now is uh, a little bit uh, reset uh, using still the old uh, fine wire that haven't uh, bite uh, into the small branches uh, to reset a little bit the pads uh, and then uh, the tree can go outside uh, and uh, relax uh, for another season. Now what I want to do is to move uh, this branch from the lower part of the elbow to the upper part to fill this gap and so I can uh, reshape a little bit the foliage in that section by just uh, bending uh, the branch back and when I'm in position I can uh, secure the position in two sections. Here we are. One and here is the second ankle point. Now from here I can move the green and frame the part that I want. And uh, here we are at the end of the work. I cover the elbow on top to just give you the idea how the tree will look when I will graft uh, this branch. 
all the foliage is in position, ready to flash out uh, nice and strong in spring and create uh, more volume. I need volume, so I don't need to reselect the buds uh, and I need the tree to be as strong as possible to set all the position, thick the branches uh, and be nice and strong for the future. So I will let it grow and really fertilize heavily nitrogen in spring uh, and then uh, in one year reset the tree, reclean and give a little bit more refinement to the new shoot. Uh, now obviously it's not a refinement, it's just a, a, a work uh, on moving up uh, the tree to the next level. I'm pretty happy about the final result uh, and I hope you enjoy this video. See you at the next. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you so much for following my YouTube channel. I have a bonsai book, Bonsai Dream, where you can see beautiful transformation from the Yamadori to the Finnish bonsai trees. If you want to buy it, please send me an email and thank you again. Bonsai Dream. <laughs> oh yeah.